just came up we're in real shallow water right here oh big fish too big oh, big fish is. big big fish oh big fish i'm gonna bring her whoa i'm gonna let her come up here oh she's not happy <laughs> not happy at all come on oh, baby oh. that didn't take long did it no it didn't we got a storm coming in A little, a little upset right here. Oh. Sweet. Come on, baby. Uh. Whoop. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want to get her. Hey, Frank. She barely. Nice. Oh, big, big fish. All right. Good job. Great Guys, let me tell you what we're doing. What it is, we got a big storm coming in here. I'm out here fishing with some friends of mine today. We got Pete, Eb's gonna be here in a little bit. Burning bucktails up in two feet of water. We're in less than three feet of water right now. The water's cooled down, it's fall. These fish are migrating up in the shallows. And we're both throwing bucktails up here and this one just absolutely smoked it. And this is a really, really nice fish. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that did not take long. No, no it didn't. Goodness gracious, oh. that is a fat one too. Yeah. Look at the head on that That's thing. a big old fish. No doubt. what we got here guys it's a big fish and a lot of people don't realize these fish go shallow I mean these fish big ones just like this I mean look look at this guy <laughs> right there nice. now that is a nice nice musky that fish right there is up in two feet of water the water's cooling down we got a front coming in here we got everything we need to catch these fish reeling them fast just got started. Hopefully this is a sign of a really good day. Let's get her back in the water. She's swimming good. She'll be fine. Nice. All right, well guys, like I said, cowgirl, double blades, reeling fast. High speed reel, long rods, point your rod right at the bait. Big bait, big profile, a lot of commotion. We're gonna get started. Pete's gotta get his big one now.
like the other day, real shallow. I got Ev throwing a junior cowgirl up real shallow, two feet of water, three cranks into it, and we got a nice fish. Let's take a look at it. Nice, nice, Ev. Nice. Oh, big fish, Ev. It's moving a lot of water. Moving a lot of water. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good job, Ev. Good job. Another nice fish. Another nice fish, Ev. Same spot, too, right in front of this creek, man. They are. Come back here, Ev, if you can. There you go. Good job. Nice fish. Yep. Nice. Nice. It's not as big as the last, but you know what? It's a good one. Same thing. We're basically right here. We're up in front of this creek. Same spot. Same spot. Throwing the same thing. Black and orange. Junior. Really shallow. We got another front coming in here. Boy, you're not doing too bad. <laughs> fish in what a couple hours, <laughs> a couple hours exactly right. not bad let's get her back in the water here some impressive fish ain't it guys that was Ev's two biggest fish he's ever caught in his life two fish in excess of 50 inches in literally less than an hour pretty amazing when these fish make a shallow water movement it can be phenomenal it can be some of the best fishing you're ever going to experience. But here's the deal. Let's talk about how these fish are going and why we're catching these fish. The key to this whole situation is speed, guys. It's not the water that the lure occupies. It's how fast the lure is going through it. You can have two baits going through the water, guys. If one's going faster than the other, it's going to trigger the more active fish. These fish are up there for one reason, and that's to feed. That water is more oxygenated, they're supercharged, and they're gonna be chasing the fastest moving baits. How to gain more speed? One, if you go to some of the new saltwater style reels like the Daiwa Saltus, it has a really high gear ratio, it has a larger handle, and it can turn a lot faster and pick up more line. You can point your rod tip right at the lure. That's another key to bringing in more speed. You don't compete or fight against the rod as the lure's coming in. The other thing is a full spool of line. You guys would be amazed at how fast it will pick up a lure when you have a full spool versus a half spool. The thicker diameter, 
picks up more line per rotation of the handle. It's a lot easier on you and it'll make that bait move a lot faster through the water. Try some of the saltwater reels, point your rod tip right at the lure, and make sure, please guys, keep a full spool of line. We're gonna get back to the water. Wow, that one's not little. fish up this morning that was probably awful close to that size. I don't think that was the same fish. We've moved down the weed bed probably another. And she's saying goodbye. <laughs> well that's it guys. Shallow water. That last fish you've seen Lance caught on a top water bait. It wasn't really speed but the fish was still in some extremely extremely shallow water. We were getting fish to move on bucktails but they just weren't eating. We went in with a little slower fat daddy walk the dog top water bait and triggered that big fish to bite. Remember guys, if you have a change in water temperature, a drastic drop in water temperature in the summer from where it's been warm to all of a sudden cooling down, those fish are gonna move shallow and you can catch them. Remember speed and you're gonna get some big fish in the boat. I gotta get back at it. <laughs>